I would like to introduce myself. My name is Krishna Batham. I am a mechanical engineer by profession. I have plus 10 years of working experience in very well known OEMs like Tata Motors and V Commercial Vehicles. Hello and welcome to my channel Automoto Curiosity. Today in this video we will be talking about double wishbone suspension system. We will be covering following topics in this video. What is double wishbone suspension system? What are major components of it? Working of double wishbone suspension system? advantages and disadvantages of double wishbone suspension system double wishbone suspension name is constructed by using word wishbone wishbone is name of fourth bone between the neck and breast of a bird control arms used in the suspension have similar shape like wishbone of bird sometimes double wishbone suspension system is also called short long arm suspension as it has two control arms of varying in length this is one of the most common type of front axle independent suspension system independent front axle suspension refers to type of a suspension system in which front wheels of a vehicle moves independently now let's talk about components of double wishbone suspension system double wishbone suspension system has majorly five components which are control arm 1 which is also called short arm control arm 2 which is also called long arm spring shock absorber ball joints working of double wishbone suspension system front wheels of vehicle is connected to frame by upper and lower control arms this attachment allows vehicles to swivel up and down the wheel turns on the wheel bearing attached to steering knuckle assembly a string knuckle assembly is connected to control arms through a ball joint ball joint allows movement in number of different directions so the assembly can swing around as vehicle are turned to left and right now let's discuss advantages and disadvantages of double wishbone suspension system the double wishbone suspension system has vertical upper and lower arms which boosts the negative camber as a result your vehicle has better stability on the road because the tires are touching the road more plus your wheel alignments remain constant as well as your steering this will allow you to handle the car in better way regardless of the street that your vehicle is under therefore if you are looking for suspension which allows you to control your vehicle in stability and consistency then double wishbone suspension system should be our first choice the only negative thing to say about the double wishbone suspension system is that it's costly the suspension system is a lot more complex than McPherson suspension system which means it costs manufacturer more money to create it there are so many components and part of double wishbone suspension system if one part were to go bad or get worn out then your whole suspension would stop functioning properly so we can say maintainability is also a negative point of double wishbone suspension system thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate your patience for staying with us till end of this video Hope you may have liked this video. Please like, subscribe and leave comment below in case if you have any question or any feedback. We will see you in next video.